Hi there, my name is Jacob Landis Eggsty of Reimagined Cinema, and for my review this week, I'm going to be reviewing the Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8. Now, this lens is a really nice lens. It takes really sharp pictures. The bokeh is actually really nice on it, and it has really good colors. It's a wonderful focal length. 17 to 50 will cover um, probably about 60, 70 percent of your shots. Um, this is great for photography or for video work and it's really, I think it's the best bang for your buck out there because like one music video I shot exclusively with this. I never needed to take it off. It works really good on a steady cam. You've got the wide angle but you've also got some zoom. The f2.8 is also really, really nice and is actually pretty sharp at f2.8 um, so you can definitely shoot some stuff at that. You can get the really nice bokeh at 50 millimeters. So, in terms of image quality, it's pretty high up there. It's obviously not the very, very highest, um, not quite up to like a 135 f2, um, but in terms of bang for your buck and usability, I think it's the best there is, and I've gotten a whole lot of use out of it. And it's only, I got it for about $370, which is really very, very affordable. I'd also recommend this instead of your kit lens, the 18 to 55. I upgraded from that. Um, 18 to 55 isn't a terrible lens. I'm not going to slam it, um, but having the fixed aperture, having the f2.8, gives you a lot more background blur, a lot more low light, and actually turns these into cameras into something that does really well in low light. So that's on um, one of my highest recommendation lists. Um, I think I would give image quality 4.5 five out of five and definitely bang for your buck a full five out of five um, overall probably five out of five just for what you're getting um, and just wanted to let you know almost all canons especially their primes are really nice looking off brand you have to be a little more careful because some of them are low quality this one is not um, ones i can think of are um, the samyang 35 1.4 tokina 11 to 16 and this one, our three at the top of my head that were different brands, but really, really high quality. Um, so I really recommend you pick this up as your kit lens. You could also look at the Canon IS. Um, it's about $1,000, which is pretty pricey. Doesn't work on a full frame. And looking at image quality, these are very, very similar. It's really depending on if you want to pay almost three times as much just for IS. For me doing video work, I find a monopod is actually even better than simply IS. Um, it's very portable and gives me even more stability. So that's what I would recommend. You know, you can get one of those for 250, um, especially since a lot of primes aren't going to have an IS feature or only the 100 millimeter macro. Anyways, this is highly recommended by me. It gets one of the most use, and it's only 350, which the world of photography, not a bad price at all.